and thank you for tuning into my channel, Teach with Char. Of course, this is Char. This is so weird for me not being able to see myself on the camera, and I am doing a voiceover. So, yeah, <laughs> bear with me because this is a new experience. But thank you to all of my subscribers. I have so many new subscribers. I've been gone for so long. I do apologize. I will get you guys caught up on why I've been gone, what I've been doing. And if you have been following me on Instagram, thank you so much for showing your support on that social media um, platform. But this video is all about how to create those really cute teacher pay teacher Pinterest worthy uh, documents that you see everywhere. I make these for my classroom. Sometimes I buy them off of Teachers Pay Teacher, but not often. Um, I've only bought a couple and that was probably like a last minute thing because I probably didn't feel like making it myself. These are so easy. They're very therapeutic for me to make. Uh, I just love being creative and creating things, and especially when I make something that's my own. I'm just super proud of that. So I'm going to show you how you can do that without the need of having Adobe Pro. This is not to knock on Adobe Pro. Adobe Pro is awesome, but it is very tedious for me, and I don't wanna pay for services that I can find elsewhere for free that aren't a bad substitute. And so that is what Google provides. So you can use Google Docs or Google PowerPoint. For this presentation, I am going to be using Google PowerPoint to show you how, I keep saying Google PowerPoint, Google Slides is not called PowerPoint people, that is a Microsoft product. We are going to be using Google Slides to uh, make this guy right here. And it's super cute, super easy, super fast. So let's get started. All you need to do is make sure that you are signed into your Google Drive account. Sometimes when you're just logged into YouTube, you may not necessarily be logged into your Google Drive. So make sure you are signed into there. You can literally just go to your search engine box and just type in drive.google.com. Once you are there, you're going to hit this guy right here, this new button, and you can do create Google Slides. I find Google Slides easier to manipulate um, your shapes and images and text boxes better than Google Docs, but Google Docs is perfect for if you just need to make maybe um, just a real quick lab worksheet or a math worksheet where it's like morning work, that's perfect. So here you're gonna go to blank presentation, since I've already made this, I'm just gonna go back to this one, which I already have open up here. And we are going to make this together. Let it populate, it's taking a while. So, all right, once you're in, normally you see this right here. So from this screen, all you need to do is come up here to layout and do blank. All right, now if you don't like the size of your, um, Matt, your page or whatever you want to call it, you can just come over here to, not format, file, page setup. Let's say you wanted to make a eight by eight and a half by 11, you can do that right here. For this, I'm not going to change it. I'm going to leave it like this. So the first thing you need to do is the one that I find most helpful is going ahead and creating my title first. And I make my font pretty large because you want that title to pop. Find a very cute, friendly font. Now I am working on my personal Google Drive account, so all of my cute fonts are not actually installed here. They're actually installed on my work, um, my my work. What do you call that? My work account, my work Google Drive account. So all you have to do is just go click on the font, type on more fonts, and then you can scroll through here and find one that you like that stands out. I always try to find a super bold font, and then I pair that with like a handwriting font. Um, something like this coming soon. So that's what we're going to be using today. So just come up here. I'm gonna actually, I'm not gonna use freckle face. Yeah, I'm gonna use freckle face so I can see the difference between that and the other one I've already used. So I'm gonna type in my title. I'm gonna highlight it using Command A because I am working on a Mac. Um, I haven't been on an HP uh, in a while, so I can't tell you what the shortcut is. This one, go ahead and center align it. Make this box a little smaller. And then make sure you go to arrange, center on page horizontally. 
and um, click off of that. And then you're going to add another text box. The reason why I add two text boxes is because you might need to move your font um, up close, not close, you might need to move it closer to your title than your spacing will allow. So it's easier to just work with the two boxes. I want to use bullet points for this. So your bullet points and numbering, uh, they're all here. And let's make sure we're using a font size that's gonna be pretty big. That might be too big. So let's do 30. And again, I'm gonna pair this with a handwritten font. So we're using coming soon. So I'm just going to type what I need. While I'm typing, I will just kind of talk over this. So I got some land snails for my science curriculum. And so that is what sparked my creativity to make this. My students really want to take these cute little guys home. I have to admit, when I first saw them, I was super grossed out, but I'm actually really interested in them. Um, I don't want to lose my place. I have a little notepad here that I'm just typing off of. So that's what I'm doing. So I want to create a checklist because I have a bag that the kids will take home with them. And I want them to make sure, oops, I didn't spell daily, right? I want to make sure that they bring everything that they are sent home with back to school. Um, I know some of you might be wondering why I'm sending home a Ziploc bag of paper towels because I teach in a Title I school. And my students may not have paper towels at home. I mean, I don't have paper towels at home, and that's because we go through them a lot. But paper towels are expensive, so I don't want the families to feel like, no, we're not going to um, be caregivers because we're going to have to come out of pocket for these guys. And I don't, I don't want that. So that's not what, um, that's not the responsibility I want them to do. So. As you can see, I have my font all nice, but this is missing a border. So you can just come over here to your shapes and just choose that rectangle. There you go. Sometimes depending on what you've already created, it might automatically populate to a color. But if you just go here to transparent, that fixes all of that. This is where the magic happens for your borders. So you can do border weight. I find that Three is a nice size, depending on what you're doing. On the last one, I use these plain dash uh, borders, dash lines. And so this one, I kind of want to use the dots. Yeah, the dots are cute. And let's change the color to black so this comes out really nicely. Okay, now I am not filling this blank space right here. So we're gonna have to do something with that. Of course, as you can see, we're gonna put a cute little snail there. But first with this, we need to send this all the way to the back. Otherwise, we're gonna have a hard time clicking on our title and our um, text box to move things. So we can insert font two ways. One, you can just insert one from your computer or you can use the insert image search from web feature here. Now I need a snail. And I don't want a real picture of a snail, so I'm just gonna add clip art. And here we go, there's some cute guys. Oh, this guy's too angry. Oh, it's a cute little worm and he's smiling. Okay, some of these images are not as good as when I normally search. So I apologize. That's a bit disappointing. Oh, this guy is cute. We can use him. So cute. Okay, give it a second. There we go. Let's shrink him down some. Not that much. Let's put him right over here in the corner. And do you see at the bottom how he's kind of on top of this? If you like that, you can just pull him down a little bit more. So kind of make it look like he's supposed to be there or you can lift him up like what I'm going to do because I don't like that. So it just depends on your prefer preference, excuse me. Um, that looks pretty cute. So do you see here how it's saying like you might need to move your text boxes around because you don't want it to be too close to your image. Um, look, see I was, not paying attention, I put snail foot sheet. Oh, you know why? I wish you guys could see my 
<laughs> I wish you guys could see my notepad. It, when I wrote it, it looks like foot. So that makes sense. So I'm not sure what size font I used up here. So let's figure out what's going on. I used, oh, again, see on this one, I didn't send that to the back. So that's why I'm having those issues. Send to the back. All right. So here I used 36 coming soon. Maybe. Oh, you know why? Because I put spray bottle of spring water. Ziploc bag of paper towels, daily care card, tote bag, and fact sheet. And that really did make the world of a difference. But I want to make this a little bit bigger. So you can just play with your font sizes. As you can see, we're pretty much done. The only thing we're doing is really just... Um, oh, wrong thing. We're just really trying to make everything look nice and centered here. All right, so that is a little too big. So I'm gonna change that to 46. There we go. I shrunk down the sides without jeopardizing any of the features of that cute font. So I'm gonna go back here to arrange and I'm going to horizontally center that. Let's bring that down a tad bit. I wanna take that up just a little bit. No. We're done. So let's look at this and see. Which one do you guys prefer? Do you like that one? Or do you like that one? Let me know in the description box if you prefer number one, because that was the original, or number two. Or if you like the font on number two and the cute little snail on number one, let me know. If you would like another video like this, that's real quick and short so you know how to create these types of documents, please leave a comment in the description box. If you have any questions, I will do my best to try and answer them as best as I can. Also, if you are not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I truly appreciate all your support. And until the next video, Thank you. Goodbye.